Welcome back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Gates Granted computer and we're going to strip it out and we're going to take the parts that we take out of this and we're going to put them in another Gates Granted computer and we're going to make it into a server. It's not the best server in the world. You probably would look for something that's maybe a Pentium 4 or something newer, but because we said what we were going to do in this video was we were going to take a Gates computer and turn it into an Edge Ubuntu server with old OPAX running as clients, this is what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip off the top. For those of you who have never, ever, ever in the last six years been inside your Gates computer, you flip these two levers back, you lift this up, and as if by magic, you get a top. You're going to need your screwdriver because in a lot of instances they put a screw where they've left the screw back in here. So we're going to just take our Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to take out that screw and we'll put that someplace. And then we're going to reach down into the computer and we're going to pull out the memory. And the memory is these guys here. And the reason that we're going to use this memory, even though we're only going to end up with 500 megabytes of memory, is it's very special. At the time these computers were built, this was a state-of-the-art memory. You can't buy it today. If you can buy it today, you're going to buy it on eBay, and you don't want to pay $200 for a piece of memory to go in a computer that's probably worth a buck and a half. So we're going to pull our memory out. We've got two sticks of memory here, two sticks of memory. We're going to pull out the hard drive. We just pull out the cables. Makes it look so easy, and we just rip it out. And now we have a hard drive. We have an 80 gig hard drive, a little bit bigger than you probably have in your Gates computer, but these were teen computers at one time. So an 80 gig hard drive is gonna be good. So we've got a hard drive and we've got some extra memory. And then the hard part is that we're gonna to have to reach down in here, flip up this lever, and we're gonna to have to work to pull out the ethernet card and try to do it without killing ourselves. So there we go. So what we've, there's our ethernet card. So what we've salvaged out of this Gates computer is we've salvaged the ethernet card, because remember we need two ethernet cards in our server. We've salvaged a hard drive. In this case, it was an 80 gig hard drive and it was nice. We assume that it's a working hard drive and we've salvaged our memory, okay? So we don't quite want to throw this away yet. We've got a power supply that's worth some money. We've got a DVD player. We've got a zip drive if you're still using zip drive. So what we've got here is we've got a carcass, we've got some spare parts, and they're all stored in the same place. So let's pick this guy up. You all remember how exciting it was to lift these up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our second computer, our second Gates computer, and what we've done, you can see how lovely and dirty it is inside. What we've done is we've added the second Ethernet card, so that gives us two Ethernet cards. We've added memory in all four banks, and then we have our hard drive, and we're just going to take the hard drive, and we're going to slip it back in here, like this, and push it down, and cable it up, and we're ready to go. There's one last thing that you have to do with the server before you're ready to go, you need to go back into the BIOS. Remember we talked about the BIOS. You need to go back into the BIOS. You need to change the way it boots because to load our server software, we're gonna to have to be able to boot from the DVD player. And now, because the Gates computers have probably not been changed in a long, long time, they're set to boot off of the hard drive. So we're gonna go back into the BIOS, make sure we can boot off of this DVD player, and we're done. And that's it, that's pretty much all there is to it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go off onto the internet and we're going to download our software. So take a break, build your computers, and we'll come back and we'll show you how and where we're going to download the software. Be back in just a second.